Hello. Hello. What are you doing out here? Uh, I'm walking on stuff. For what? <laughs> Actually, check this out. Best news ever. Okay. Do you hear that? It's funny. That noise just shut off. I was going to say, do you hear that noise? It was the air conditioning. Because between that noise and this right here is the best news you're going to get uh, this month at least. Maybe okay. this year. Okay. You're I'm ready? excited. Tell me. I'm okay. interested in this. So here's, here's, here's what this means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, let's, let's I don't come right down here. Okay. Right, right here. What does that number say? 18 feet. Okay. Our trailer is 18 feet. Oh my god! Oh, you're right. It is the best news I'm going to get all month. Yeah. So here's what that means. Nobody gets this right now, and I wouldn't expect you to. I thought he meant the best news you were going to get all month. No, us. us yeah, Me. You. Yeah, thank you. So what that means is our trailer overall length is 18 feet. And we need to work on it. And, and it can fit in here. It's like 104 degrees. Where that is. Oh my god, you're the best. All Good right. job. So okay, here's here's what's going down. Okay. We'll, we'll take you on a tour. We'll take you on a tour of what's going down and what we're gonna be doing. Okay. All right, guys. Dandy Off Road merch finally available. We're gonna put links in the description on where you can get your very own Dandy Off Road tee. Would you look at that? Here's the back of it. Mash on Dandy Off Road crew. I would totally sport this mashing in the dinner. I really like it. Again, link in the description, or you can just visit dandyoffroad.com. It's gonna be the first thing that pops up when you get there. I don't want there to be any confusion. Look at that. Woo! And it's our signature colors. And a little bit of info about these shirts that might interest you. These shirts are solar powered. They are organic. They are reclaimed, recycled, recyclable, freeze dried, raised on a cruelty free farm where no. No, not one snowy plover nor one blade of milk grass was harmed during the making of these shirts because we love the environment. These can be used as a parachute if you need to jump or exit your vehicle quickly. Once you land, you can then fashion it into a pillow or a blanket. You should get two. A blanket and a pillow. You should definitely get two, I'm thinking. There's so many other uses, so why don't you guys buy one and then show me how you use it. Thank you guys ahead of time and uh, don't forget, get your dandy off road. First shirt, many more to come. First run, lots of other stuff to come, but... Take a look. Get him at dandyoffroad.com. You'll show me what. All right. Okay. So, here's the reason for today, huh? Yeah, here's the reason. Ready? Yeah. If only we love dirt, you know? God, why can't we love dirt? Uh, we don't. I know. We I do. Mean, we like it. We do. We love it. We ride we like the it. desert. We ride the mountains. We ride all the stuff. Just not as ride much as mind. we do other stuff. Okay. All right, here we go. So, the reason I put that there is so that I can get a Nothing. really precise measurement off of the outside of that tire, right? Okay. So, if I put that against that, that should be the outside of that tire, right? Yes? Yep. Yes. I lock that one over there. You need another. And I'll grab another one. That work? Alright. And come over here. Okay. Oh. Easier said than done, sir. And I put that against the outside of this tire. What would you say that measurement is? I would say that measures about 84 and a half inches. Okay. That is wide. Here's, okay, let's, oh my okay, real quick. God. So real quick, we have to get this car and trip to Glamis coming up. This is prep for Glamis, right? Yep. Uh, let me show you the dilemma. 84 and a half? Yeah, let me show you the dilemma. And let me just tell you guys, this is car stock, 72 inch wide car, it's a Turbo S, but add some paddles on, 84 and a half. I mean, I know it's drooped a little bit, probably because it, oh, can you raise it up now? You have to droop it when you tow it, huh? So here's our dilemma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This trailer, at the best, is 78 and a half. Then you got some stuff sticking out, so it's not. So really, the best you could get on here, I'd say, is maybe 76 inches wide. So obviously, we're missing a, uh, almost 10 inches, right? Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. So we're going to take you with us. We're going to go buy some stuff, some materials. Uh, as we go, I'll uh, explain it more. And when we have all the materials, we won't be done with this today, but when we have all the materials, I'll kind of lay them in, out, out in a way that you can understand what we're doing. Right. But let me tell you real quick. So here's what we're gonna do. This section here, this will be cut here, right? Where at? This will be cut about right here. Okay. There'll be a piece of angle line that lays along the fender that comes down to here. This whole side will be dropped down to about five inches. Okay. All right, about right there. Right. Same in the front. Then we're going to Harbor Freight. We're buying- Harbor Freight? 
and we're buying some ramps, right? Right. The ramps, what they're gonna do, they're 84 inches long. Let me show you how long that is real quick. Well, that's almost as wide as our car, sir. <laughs> 84, <sighs> okay. So, uh, is that what they were, 84 long? Yeah. 84 long, 10 inches, eight inches wide, something like that. So, the ramps will be this long, right? Right. It's gonna happen right here. They'll get pie, the ramp itself will get pie cut on the sides, right? Okay. It'll fold down, it'll touch here. We'll put bolts through here. The ramp will be along here, it will get bolted, the side of it will get bolted in here. Then out here it will be supported also. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a ramp here that drops down, drops down to five inches lifted here. The car will drive on top of the rail and on top of the ramp. Let me tell you something. You just helped me, because this morning you told me and I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. But I knew it would work out because I know you, but now I see it. Oh, so let's good. do this. Let's get a measurement right here real quick. Oh my God, it's so hot. So our overall width will then end up being 80 and a half, right? Right. So obviously we're going to be sticking out. What is that? That leaves five, 80 and a half. So four, five inches. So we're going to end up with a five inch. So two and a half inches on each side stick out, right? Right. Not a big deal. The contact patch is the biggest problem. I measured the center of the contact patch and it's 72. So if you take 72 and I kind of just roughly center 72, here's the center of the contact patch. So you can see we'll have plenty. You're gonna have about, uh, if, I just, if I guess, you're gonna have about five inches of contact patch right. that the tire can set on in the back and more on the front because the front's not gonna be quite as wide. Right, and then, I mean, honestly, once it gets up over that ramp part, oh, just down here, okay, never mind. Yeah, the back tires will set right here. Yeah. Next thing I want to do real quick, let's measure, I want to measure the wheelbase, wheelbase to see where that's going to leave the car setting. Okay. So let's do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to say 85. 85, okay. Right. So it's 85 inches in between, what I said that was, 85? 85. Yeah, all right. Perfect. All right. So we can put. Uh, well, as long as you have 32 back and 32 front, because that's the tires, so right? So we can put uh, front of the back tire right here, and the front of the front tire. The rear of the back front tire. The rear right of the back tire will be right here, which will be perfect. Oh yeah. All right. So we are headed to get supplies. Well, we just told you what the plan is uh, for the trailer. And I'm super excited because um, it's Sunday and I'm going on an adventure. Yeah, to my Thunder. favorite places. Yeah. Harbor Freight. Hello's. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go grab some uh, some wood, some ramps, and we'll we're gonna at least get this thing all laid out where you where you can get a visual of what it is. This is gonna be this is gonna be a multi part video for sure because there's no way we're gonna finish it today. Um, well, we'll get further than I thought because. Look at my muscles. Uh, the overall length of the trailer is 18 foot, and we have about 19 feet to do that's available before we hit that bench. And so our garage is cool enough, because otherwise there's no way we're yeah. not 104. Yeah. So you... Where are you going, young lady? I'm going to Harbor Freight. I'm going, I won something, and I'm going here, because it's where I chose. I hate Disneyland. There's so many lines. Okay, what'd you say? I need ramps, a rolling car, and gloves. I didn't have it for this. I need for that. So what are we doing here? We are shopping at my favorite place. Why? One time I came here and people thought I worked there for so long. Why are we going to play that? Why are we going to be playing this music right now? This, I mean, I like it, but it interferes. It interferes with our uh, well, monetization. This, maybe this won't be monetized. Do you need any trailer light harnesses or anything? Um, you know what? All right. We're going to poke around. We'll figure this out. We'll be back. Look at me. I found them. You found what? The ramp? Yeah. Where are they? Ooh, we tried. I know, so I said we tried, we tried. Um, oh man. Hold on. Jeff Wheels. Well, it'd be nice. It's always, yeah, that turns That's into, that, that turns into a big truck project. It'd be nice if we had E-Track on the car, on the car, on the trailer. Okay, I found this, I found what we need. What? Ready? Yeah. Here we go, this way. See if you see. Oh, I see him.
Okay, so imagine this. We got sidetracked in the Harbor Freight. What happens to everybody? But we got the ramps. They're back there. We'll show them to you when we get home. It happens to the right? customers. And we picked up some other stuff. Because, you know, you're in Harbor Freight. You're setting up a trailer. You see some stuff. You get some other ideas. You know how it goes. It right? always gets us. Right? And we got gloves, you know. We got the stuff. We got some good things. I'm excited about my gloves. I'm excited about the safety gear. Yep. Uh, so we're going to go do this. Um, right? Yep, we're doing I'm just trying right. to order some chicken. Oh, yeah. We need food. That's what's wrong. What did you just say to me? I said, let's do this. Right. Just uh, right. 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 Okay. Let's go. So, we went on a Lowe's adventure. Oh. Well... We went on a Harbor Freight adventure too, you saw that. Yeah. So here's some of the stuff we need. Again, it's all gonna, it all, it'll all make way more sense when we uh, jump in it together. Hopefully. But no, oh wait. Why don't we do one at a time? Why well, want to come this way? Bring my way first. Okay. For a little while. No, no, not awkward, not awkward to carry those around the store. Ooh, look at that! Wow! I'm smash ya. No? Put that in the back of the truck? No. So it doesn't fly off and impale someone, maybe? This is the rest of the stuff we need to complete our project. Those carriage bolts, these nuts, these washers, these washers, that drill bit, those death wheels, that paint, the car's extra, mine broke, we need a new one, and the ramps. There's going to be a few odds and ends, a few more, few more bolts, nuts, stuff like that. It's all going to make sense in a minute. Well, maybe not a minute. We got some safety glasses. We got some gloves. We got some masks because it looks, looks like uh, people are going to start wanting you to wear them again. We got some what I call death wheels. We got some individual e traps. I'll show you where that goes later. We got some paint. You know where that goes. I'll show you where these 8 inch carriage bolts go in a little bit. Along with these washers, nuts, and lock washers. Uh, rubber gloves, paper towels, and this because mine is broken. Uh, sir, what do you have going on here? All right, so here's where we're at. I kind of showed them, you know, we, we just threw everything on the trailer and we made a big mess. I but, like to, but. I, I like to start with a mess. How hot is it when you're doing this? Well, that's the problem. I was outside doing this and it was probably like 87 degrees. No, no, no. It's over 100 by now. Yeah, I'm kidding. Anyway, but this, uh, oh, thank so you. I threw all the stuff in the trailer out in the heat, drug the trailer inside the garage. And I've already kind of laid some stuff out, started doing some measuring, I'm cutting. You're cutting, so, I smell the cuts, yeah. okay. So what we're gonna do right now is take a look. So here's where this piece is gonna get cut, and that piece of angle iron is gonna go down this way. This piece, piece is gonna drop down to five inches and tie back into that angle iron right here. Okay. It'll all make sense in a minute. I it makes sense to me now because I know. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. You're gonna cut it? Okay. Usually we're using the Harbor Freight uh, death wheels. I'm using a DeWalt right now. 
Is it cutting? It's actually cutting? Well, wow. I don't want to cut, but it's real soft and it, you know, kind of just goes away real quick. Right. be over so what do you want to say to these people you want to say thank you or anything yep thank you thank you for buying the shirts that's all, been awesome really helps out a lot yeah uh thank you for subscribing commenting liking sharing but definitely awesome mostly stuff. for commenting yeah. we love talking and buying about the shirts that's been a big help okay buying the shirts has definitely been a big help we're not like raising the price a bunch or anything we want you guys i don't know it feels weird and awesome at the same time but thank you for that um also just keep commenting, talking to us. We love it. Glamis, camp coming up. Safety first. Thanks, guys. Peace.